Good evening, this is Mr. Eckhoff with the Christmas story for the third day of Christmas. Tonight's story is called No Room at the Inn, the Nativity Story. It's by Jean M. Malone and illustrated by Brian Langdo. Christmas is one of the most wonderful times of the year. Families come together to celebrate. There are delicious meals, cookies, and lots of presents, but Christmas is about more than meals, cookies, and presents. Christmas is really the celebration of a special birthday, the birthday of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was born over 2,000 years ago. Jesus' birthday is so important because he is God's only son. He was born to bring peace to the world. We celebrate Christmas every year to remember Jesus' very special birth. The story of his birth is called the Nativity. In the land of Galilee, there was a town called Nazareth. A man named Joseph lived in Nazareth. Joseph was a carpenter. He built things like tables and benches. Joseph planned to marry a young woman named Mary. He loved her very much. Mary was a good woman. She was sweet and kind. Mary loved Joseph, and she also loved God. One day, an angel came to visit Mary. The angel was named Gabriel. He was sent by God to ask Mary an important request. Gabriel asked Mary to be the mother of God's son. Gabriel told Mary that God's son would be very special. He would do great things. He would help many people. Mary was afraid, but she was also very brave. She trusted the Lord. Mary told the angel that she would do as God asked. She would be the mother of the Christ child. Joseph was surprised when Mary told him about her baby. He did not know about God's plan. Joseph was not sure whether he was good enough to be the father uh, to such a special child. That night, the angel Gabriel came to see Joseph. Gabriel told him not to worry. Joseph would be a good father. The baby would love him. Gabriel told Joseph to name the child Jesus. That year, the king wanted to know how many people lived in the land. To be counted, Joseph and Mary needed to go to Bethlehem in Judea. It was a very long journey to Bethlehem. Joseph walked the whole way. It was almost time for Mary to have her baby, and she was too big to walk, so she rode an old brown donkey to Bethlehem. It was late at night when Mary and Joseph reached Bethlehem. They were tired and hungry, but there was no room at any of the inns. One innkeeper wanted to help the young couple. He said they could stay in his stable. It was full of animals, but it was warm. Mary and Joseph were very thankful to have a place to rest. That night in the stable, Mary gave birth to Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Mary did not have clothes or a cradle for her baby. She wrapped him in strips of cloth called swaddling clothes. She laid him in the manger as a bed. Mangers are racks that hold hay for animals to eat. The animals didn't mind sharing their stable or their manger. They knew that baby Jesus was special. When Jesus was born, a big bright star rose in the sky. The star was right over the stable to tell the whole world that this amazing baby had been born that night. In lands far away in the east, three wise men called Magi studied the stars. They saw the star of Bethlehem. They knew it meant that a great king had been born. So the Magi set off on a journey. They wanted to find the king and his star. In the fields outside Bethlehem, shepherds guarded their sheep from wolves and thieves. They saw the new star, too. They wondered what it meant. The angel Gabriel came to the shepherds. He told them that he had good news. The shepherds had never seen an angel before. They were afraid. But Gabriel told the shepherds that they had nothing to fear. He explained that Jesus had been born, and he would bring peace to the world. The shepherds should rejoice. Then he told them where to find the newborn baby. Suddenly a choir of angels appeared in the sky. The angels sang, Glory to God and peace on earth, good will to men. The shepherds were not scared any more. They went straight into Bethlehem. They found the stable under the star. The shepherds knelt before baby Jesus. He was still asleep in his manger bed. They rejoiced because Jesus had been born. They told everyone they knew about the special baby. Later the Magi from the east found the stable too. They knelt before Jesus with gifts they had brought for him. 
One of the wise men brought a gift of gold. The second wise men brought frankincense, a kind of candle. The last wise men brought myrrh. Myrrh is a sweet-smelling oil. The wise men brought their gifts to Jesus to show their respect and honor. They knew that he would be a very great man. Today we give presents to honor uh, Jesus' birthday. People remember the story of the Nativity in many ways. Some people light candles, other people sing carols, many people put stars or angels on their Christmas trees. It is important to remember Jesus' birthday at Christmas because he was a special baby and Christmas is a special day. Merry Christmas! The End